someone requested another diagram, and due to the almost overwhelming number of likes on the comment, I felt I had no choice but to do so. I was tempted, and in downright had a hankering to build a mock-up of the incredible device I'll draw you a diagram of, uh, with the parts at my disposal. But alas, um, amidst it all, I couldn't find what I needed. So I just jumped right into it. The, the device I'm going to detail here on paper for you today is actually quite curious, but also very useful, and anyone could operate one with a quick certification. It's what we in the field call a fusillatus tunneler, or FLT, and which, despite the name, doesn't actually tunnel anything, but we use it with a synchrocopulite compound called pantholized sulfapropyl to break the crampinatic bonds that form between various metatmospheric modules like undipolated mesylate and trischematic CFE, which is particularly toxic to humans. So it's good to break it down into its three parts, dimethiosodomol trimica, TRG5, and RED40, the last of which is gathered by the FLT's little redundo nosulators and rapidly rendered inert in the cryoreticulate pressurization tanks, right there, or CRP tanks, as you can see, and vented out through tiny slots exactly 12 microns wide to rehomogenize with the exterior atmo right there near the camshaft manifold, uh, which of course is IEEE 1565 compliant and um, meets all sorts of ISO standards in the latest model, thankfully, along with the anti-quadro insula fission shields mounted on the starboard uh, port aft and left sides and running down the middle and up through the core, uh, just for good measure, which is made of solid defocused polyrobusticated prepidol and soaked and sealed and marinated in Peller Caprolate von Furstenberg and calcinated in a nuclear kiln for the best results, which is only a little bit more expensive. In fact, it seems like they usually I add that on at no additional cost, and unless they're just saying that, which no. anyways, uh you just, you just grab this thing somewhere near the top. You try not to touch anything that looks like it might be jiggled loose easily. And watch the diffracto beams. They look like handles to some people, but they really get incredibly hot as they irradiate paramastic subdextrous waveforms in a whistle-wise pattern that instantly boils the skin, metal, hopes, dreams, body organs, cartilage, and bones. I mean, I'm no doctor, but you got to be careful with this thing. But, as you can see with this diagram, in my brief explanation, I think we can all agree that its usefulness outweighs the potential for massive bodily explosion. <laughs>